latest on Hurricane Willow, which Force 13 expects will become a Category 5 at the National Hurricane Center's next advisory. The ATCF system also says Category 5 with winds of 160 miles per hour and a pressure around 925 millibars. Uh, we we're waiting to see whether this sort of thing would happen with this storm, and now it has. Stage 7 on the CDPS scale, catastrophic if it strikes land anywhere near this intensity. 18.8 degrees north or 107.2 degrees west at this time. Here is how far the storm is away from those locations, 182 miles from Preta Vallata, 191 from Manzanillo, which it will pass uh, quite comfortably to the west. But those other locations on the screen there will be affected by the storm quite possibly even inland with rainfall. Hurricane warning is in effect for San Blas to Mazatlan. The same areas that were under warnings last night are still under those warnings this morning. And this is what we expect over the next few days. The GFS model run, the storm moves northwards and then eventually gets swept towards the east, making landfall somewhere in Nayarit probably possibly just over the border in Sinaloa and then moving inland over the Mexican higher ground and the storm will lose a lot of its momentum and then it will eventually, what's left of it, end up in the Gulf of Mexico which it could transition into a significant extratropical cyclone off the US East Coast later on this week. So that's something for the whole continent to be watching I suppose, uh, but not for Hurricane at least, but for the coast of Mexico uh, there is a very dire threat at this point with sea surface temperatures around 28 degrees Celsius or greater ahead of the storm. Um, there is still possibility for some more strengthening in the next 12 hours before we expect weakening will take place as noted there and then landfall in Mexico. It could be significantly weaker by the time it does make landfall but given that it is now a category 5 uh, there will probably be a huge storm surge no matter how much it weakens before landfall as well as heavy rainfall which could cause localized or even widespread flash flooding. Uh, as you can see, nothing on the picture in the long term there. So these are the percentage chances for Tropical Storm Force winds. Still very high chances, haven't changed very much since the last update. 97% at Preto Bayeto, which is on uh, that small island chain just off the coast there, which could well, may well get the eye of the storm still as a major hurricane. Um, and a lot of those other locations there, Mazatlan I think was towards 75% as well. Uh, so these are the models which don't really mean very much because they've been completely proved wrong once again with the intensification rate of this storm. Um, this is what the wind shear is saying. It's actually curiously going to rise according to some of those models so that could take the edge off the storm's intensity pretty soon if that verifies. And the landfall zone looks uh, pretty clear around the border with Nayarit and Sinaloa. Uh, these are the latest images. These are the first visible images of today. Uh, the storm starting to emerge there. This is the water vapor imagery on the screen now. Um, it looks like Go 17 had a little outage towards the start of that loop, but you can see how the storm's been progressing there. And this is the unenhanced infrared. Uh, you can see it gradually moving towards the north, but you'll probably notice it the most on the um, enhancement here, where you can see those cloud tops much higher than they were last night, with the eye temperature staying around the same, enough for Category 5 status. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest. You can also find our YouTube page, you're probably there already, but if not, subscribe if you haven't so far. You can also find our Facebook page, Force 13 All in Text, and it's at Force 13 on Twitter if you'd like to get in touch with us on there. You can also help the project become even better by enjoying the benefits of patronage. You can find out more information about how to become a patron and what those benefits are at patreon.com forward slash force13. You can also add force13 on Skype and my personal account on Discord, fool13 and extension 9094.